Good morning, everyone, and uh, hello from Wailua. Um, my name is Daniel Carroll, and I'm the Go Farm coach here uh, for the Wailua site for Go Farm Hawaii. And today we're going to be planting a tree. Um, so this is going to be mostly for backyard farmers and gardeners who um, may be interested in planting trees at their house. Um, and then there's a lot of different ways to do this based on the uh, supplies and tools that you have available, but we're going to try to keep this as basic as possible today. Um, so basically before we start digging, or I've already kind of started digging, I'll go over one of the most important tools that we're going to use today, which is a basic shovel. Um, there's a couple different types that you can work with, but uh, a basic garden shovel should work. Um, if your soil is really hard and heavy, you may find um, a digging shovel to work better, but um, either of these will work for, for the job. Um, so the first thing we're actually going to do today is dig out the hole. And uh, the size of your hole is going to be, be depending on what you're planting. And today we're going to be planting a coconut tree. Uh, here, kind of in the incubator area of the Go Farm North Shore site. The coconut that we're going to be planting in today is in a pretty good sized pot. And as a basic rule of thumb, we uh, typically want to dig a hole that's at least as deep as the pot and a little bit wider uh, than the pot is width wise. Um, so today we've dug a hole that's a, just over a foot deep and about two feet wide, which uh, will fit, fit easily this 18 inch pot. And so we do that with a shovel. You can kind of start in the middle um, and get down to the depth you want to work at. And then you can kind of chip away at the sides is one of the easier ways to do it. Um, so once your hole is dug, you're actually going to probably leave some of the backfill. So this is going to be one of the terms we use today. But this is the soil that comes out of the hole that you dig. And the backfill soil, um, we're actually going to be what we're going to be amending today to help um, help with the soil and and food for the tree. And so once the hole is dug, um, we're gonna add a few of the soil amendments to both the hole as well as the backfill soil. And the amendments that we're gonna be using today, uh, the things that we're adding to the soil before we plant our tree, um, are gonna be compost, is the, one of the most important, as well as we're gonna use an organic fertilizer uh, that's called bone meal. And this is from Island Commodities. Um, this is a, a produced on the island, is kind of a waste product, but um, is a great organic fertilizer and the trees really like it. Um, but today we're going to be doing a basic soil uh, amendment based on the soil test that we have here in Wailua, so this, uh, this soil type. And uh, we're going to be adding about a half ounce of um, bone meal or organic fertilizer per cubic foot of backfill. And so I know that may sound a little confusing, but um, we, the amount of backfill, if this is a two foot by one foot hole, is two cubic feet. And so two times a half is one, so we're only going to be adding one ounce of organic fertilizer. And so that may seem like a lot or it may seem like a little. Um, but one of the nice things about this, if you don't mind touching it, is you can kind of measure with your hand. Usually a closed palm full is about one ounce. Um, so once our hole is dug, the first thing we're going to do is add some of this organic fertilizer. And so again, this is a two cubic foot hole, a bigger hole you're gonna add more fertilizer to, um, depending on your soil test. Um, but for us, it's two cubic foot, so we're gonna be adding one ounce, um, which is about one closed handful of, of this organic fertilizer. And we're gonna put about half of it in the hole and half um, in the backfill. The other thing we're gonna be adding today is compost. Um, so compost comes in many different forms and finished product. Um, this one is we produce here on, at Go Farm site and uh, this is made by hand using some of our vegetable compost that we recycle. Um, so after about a year or after turning for a few months at high temperature, the compost is rested in a pile for a year. Uh, so this is some of our more mature compost. So we're going to start, we're going to add again half to the hole and then we're going to add half to the um, pile, backfill pile. 
Okay, and so that's pretty much it for the basic soil amendments. Um, we know, depending on your soil test, that our soil specifically is lacking in one nutrient, particularly calcium, that is used in a pretty high quantities by most plants. And so there's many sources of calcium that you can add to your soil. In some cases, you may want to be using like a limestone, like a rock, rock stone, um, which can help also with your soil pH. And these are things that a soil test can help you with. Um, if your soil is pretty good overall for growing and there's no issues with pH, then we typically add what's called um, calcium sulfate or gypsum. And you can purchase this at most garden stores or um, garden supply centers. Um, so gypsum is another, um, basically it's a, it's a mineral and we're gonna add this to the soil um, and in the same quantity. So about one ounce, one closed handful um, per two cubic feet, one ounce. Okay, so once we have all of our soil amendments in the hole, half in the hole and half in the backfill pile, we're gonna gently mix the soil um, and we don't want the soil to be rock hard at the bottom. So if you need to dig down a little bit to loosen some of that soil down there in the bottom of the hole, that will help mix the soil amendments in with them. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we're gonna test plant our tree to make sure that our hole is the right size and the right depth. And that's gonna be an important thing. The hole can be bigger width wise, but you don't want it to be too much deeper or too much shallower than the, than the pot that the plant, the tree you're planting is in. And so one of the best ways to test this is you'll, um, you can kind of eye it to begin with, but you'll flatten the soil on the bottom and level it so that it's even. And then you'll take the pot <clears throat> and you're gonna place it in the hole and what you're gonna be looking for for most most trees is <clears throat> you don't actually want to be down in the hole you want to be about level with the soil in the pot and the soil on the ground and so you can see this level is almost perfect it's not to the top of the pot it's just below and we really want to make sure for most fruit trees especially things like avocados and citrus uh, that they're not in deep in a hole where the so water will um, won't drain well around the root. So it's often recommended to plant some of these things on a slight mound and we can, we're gonna do that a little bit today. Okay, so once we know our hole size and especially the depth is, is right, we're gonna pull the pot back out of the hole and now we have to transplant the, the actual plant with the roots, get it out of the pot and put it in the hole. And so this can be kind of tricky depending on how long the plant's been in the pot, the size of the pot and what type of material the pot's made out of. And so today we're working with a plastic pot um, and one of the tricks that can help is you kinda it, put the plant on its side and you can kinda gently roll the plant which will kinda help break the roots off the side of the pot. Now as gently as possible, we're gonna try to, um, and where you grab also depends on the plant and, and young fruit trees, you really wanna be careful not to grab the stem especially if it's a grafted fruit tree at that graft union, the area um, where the, in the nursery they make the cutting um, can be rather sensitive. A coconut is pretty strong and so you can kind of just grab it by the base here and you're gonna slowly lift it out of the pot. Um, we're gonna wanna do our best to try to keep as much of the root ball intact as possible. And we're gonna be looking for any kind of weaving or winding around the pot. If we see that, we may wanna do a little bit of pruning or cutting on the roots to prevent that, uh, to help the roots heal. So we're gonna look and we're gonna see the roots here look pretty healthy. Uh, they're all pretty white and they're not circling too bad. So we're pretty much ready to plant here. Um, so again, we're gonna just make sure the hole is level and we're gonna find its spot in the hole. Now, normally you want the tree to be straight up. Um, if it's gonna be at a slight angle, typically you want it angling towards the direction of the common wind or the trade winds, which here would be the Northeast directly behind us. Um, but for this coconut tree, we're gonna want it to be relatively straight. And the best way to make sure to do that is to take a couple steps back and look at it from a couple different angles <coughs> to make sure that it's going straight up. <coughs> okay, so now that the tree is in the hole, we're gonna use a shovel um, to fill in some of the backfill pile or in and around the roots of the plant. And as we do this, we're gonna gently fill in 
um, the soil so that there's no big air pockets between the roots and the soil. So after we fill it in, we're gonna tamp in around the plant, <coughs> which again will help break up some of those clods of soil and help prevent air pockets, which can stunt or limit the growth of a new, newly planted tree. Try to do this around the base of the plant without doing too much damage to the roots of the tree. Okay, so now that we have the soil from the backfill pile surrounding the plant, you'll see that there's a little bit of extra soil um, and that creates kind of like a trough around the plant. Um, and so one of the things we're gonna watch out for is we don't want the soil to be stacked too high up on the stem of the tree. And we typically want it at the same level as it was when it was planted in the pot. Um, it's okay if the soil comes up and then comes down a little bit if we planted the tree a little bit high. But we try not, try not to, again, plant it low in the hole. So I just make a very small trough around the base of the tree, especially if we don't have access to water or irrigation. Um, and we're gonna be hand watering this tree as it's getting established. Um, this helps keep the water at the base of the tree and allow, give it time to soak in. And we'll show you how to water after we're done planting. So now this is where our extra compost can come in handy. Um, if you have extra compost available, we only use you know maybe a three quarters of a gallon in the backfill hole. Um, in the hole and the backfill pile. So the rest of this compost, about three or four gallons, can go around the base of the plant. Um, and you don't want it necessarily piling up against the, around the side of the tree, around the stem, but it can go all around the base, all the way out to the leaves. And so for this, it can go three to four inches um, around the base of the tree. <clears throat> and this will kind of help stimulate this soil and hopefully give it some, give some food for the plant as well. Okay, so the last step, and especially this is important if you don't have access to constant irrigation, if there's not gonna be a timer or a way to easily water your tree, you're gonna wanna use some type of mulch. And so mulch can come in many different forms. Today we're using some wood chips and leaves. Um, and this we got here on the property and we're gonna be piling this around the plants. So we're using this whole wheelbarrow, at least three inches thick around the base of the tree, maybe two or three feet out will help conserve water and also help keep weeds from growing. So again, we only want about three inches. Um, and so we're gonna wanna pull, this, pull the compost away from the base of the plant just so it's not all up against the tree and spread it out so it's evenly layered around the, around the tree. About three inches thick. Okay, so now that our tree's planted and we have some mulch, I'm sure you're thinking the last step, of course, is some water. And that is an important step as the tree gets established. So a tree like a coconut, <clears throat> once it's growing, it may not need um, additional water or irrigation. But after you plant the tree, it certainly is important. So if you don't have access to a hose, which we do have pretty close, but if you don't, um, you can use a five gallon bucket. And this can also help you um, learn how much water to give your plant. And so a coconut and many young fruit trees for the first six months, um, until they get established and the roots start to grow deeper into the soil, we'll need about 10 gallons of water, um, 10 to 20 gallons of water a week. 
And so this could be two, about two five gallon buckets twice a week and our soil seems to work. So one of the important things about watering is to water twice. So we always water the tree in and then we'll wait about five or 10 minutes. We'll fill this up again and come back and water it one more time. Say, uh, take one. You, you, you say it. <laughs>